the magic to make America's greatest movies. Was I wrong? <laughs> of course not. I'm the biggest film executive that ever pissed his name onto the Hollywood Walk of Fame on the top of the Nokia Theater. Right. Did you spell your name, actually? Carter Carson! Okay. C-A-R-T-E-R -E space. C-A-R-S-O-N. And don't you forget it. What's this for again, sweetheart? Oh, I write the business column for the UCLA Daily Bruin, and we are profiling successful UCLA grads. Another puff piece to draw eyeballs to your liberal rag, huh? How'd you get in here anyway? Get it! Get it! Oh, good speed! Who's this floozy, and how'd you get into Carter Carson's office? This is Sandy Michaels. She writes the business column for the Daily Bruin at UCLA. She. She is profiling you, you, because you are a UCLA grad. Oh, why didn't you say so? Of course I'll help you with your pamphlet. Paper. Exactly. Are you still coffee order, sir? You bet your ass. Double ristretto, venti, non-fat, organic, chocolate brownie, frappuccino, upside down, double, double blended. blended. Scratch that, give me a Capri Sun. Switch your angle, kid. <laughs> Looking to skewer a Hollywood mogul of yellow journalism? <laughs> I can see TMZ now. Hollywood hotshot caresses college co-ed. You get your 15 minutes. Uh, sure, whatever it takes. I just want to write this, so that would be great if we could just... That's it. Whatever it takes. An all-American family gets their lives turned upside down when daddy has to start making ends meet by cleaning up messes left behind by dirty cops. Janet! Yes, sir? Janet! Oh! Lightning quick! Get casting in here yesterday. <laughs> ah. You stop for casting, sir. Heaven, you son of a bitch, get in here. Whatever it takes. An all American family gets their lives turned upside down, and daddy has to start selling drugs to make ends meet. Wait, not cleaning up messes left by dirty cops, because that's what you said. Not a chance. Audiences will never pay 1050 a pop to see that. We've got to ride the coattails of Breaking Bad while it's still topical. In fact, Kevin, see if Brian Cranston's available. Cranston's booked. He's doing the Malcolm in the Middle move. Damn! Uh -huh. Biggest project in years. I can't pull him from it. Let's see. I need an actor who will put butts in the seats, but without an ounce of talent. <coughs> Get me Shia LaBeouf. Damn it! Damn it! Whoa! Lightning quick! <sighs> Give me a screenwriter. David Fincher. Too dark. Tyler Perry. Too black. Woody Allen. Not enough controversy. <laughs> Get me Roman Polanski. <laughs> Polanski's here to see you, sir. <laughs> <clears throat> Cussing? Legal? I didn't call for you. <laughs> You're bringing in Polanski. I can't let you do it. A Polanski film of this project from the very beginning. <laughs> Damn it! Sir. Damn it! It's faster this time! <laughs> Give me a location, Scout. We're shooting abroad. Happy Tom? Wait. <laughs> Impressed? Uh, you sure are decisive, almost haphazard in your decision making. You're cute as a button, baby. <laughs> Some makeup, you could be, with a makeup and a boot job, you could be an A-lister. <laughs> That's sexual harassment! Sexual harassment, my ass! Your ass, you just sexually harassed yourself! And I'm pressing charges. You've been convicted, you're going away for a long time! I appeal the conviction. You've been overturned. Welcome back. I love you. I love you. From, but in this biz, you gotta know LA like the back of your hand. Yeah, I live in Westwood. You see, in Hollywood, there's no time for lollygagging. It's 15 minutes away. I once put 10 <laughs> buffalo wings, a pair of 3D glasses, and a Nintendo Wii inside of a test tube, and out came Michael Bay. <laughs> Are you sure you went to UCLA? Of course I'm sure I went to UCLA. You know what? Would you like to be a gorgeous movie star? No, I'm more than my looks. I'm of course like... you're more than your looks. The latest box office draw for my newest blockbuster. Space chasm. <laughs> what happened to whatever it takes? Change the 
the title. It's now a biopic of Neil Armstrong starring Zachary Quinto. Well, when did that happen? T minus 11 seconds. A wooga, wooga! You stopped. You a wooga, Janet! Get J.J. Abrams on the phone and tell that son of a bitch he's got another thing coming if he thinks he's gonna beat me to shooting a picture on the moon. Kevin, I need 100 extras all with pilot's licenses under five foot six. Use a wood trimmer to trim them down if you have to. Make it happen! Tom! Got it! <laughs> Sir, the state of California will not issue 100 pilot's licenses to a studio. Will you get this Mr. California on the phone? I'm gonna give him a piece of my mind. Sir, we got a problem! No, we don't. Problem solved. <laughs> Janet! Carson? Janet! Oh, you better have good news. Bad. The investors aren't happy about you punching Pavon Jay Wallace in the face of the celebrity softball game last week. Everybody knows the foul pole is fair. They voted you out. You have 10 seconds to put a successor before they sell Kevin James into indentured servitude as a real mall cop. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I only need five. Sandy! Uh, you're my replacement. What? Show <laughs> Kevin Spacey is here to see you, Miss Michaels. You're wanted for the fifth Indiana Jones, Miss Michaels. Capri Sun, Miss Michaels? Scripts featuring Eddie Murphy and talking animals. <laughs>